From people to society to the natural world around us, here we're learning how Web3 can change the real world for the better. These speakers are ready to blow your mind. Let's welcome Tejas Chopra, engineering leader at Netflix. Creating a digital world that is diverse and inclusive is of vital importance. As someone who's passionate about establishing social justice in the metaverse, Tejas is sharing how he believes we can achieve an equitable world in the metaverse. Hi, everyone. My name is Tejas Chopra, and it is an honor to be presenting at the Meta Festival. Today, I'll be talking about social justice in the metaverse. I'm a TEDx speaker. I talk on NFTs, metaverses, cloud architectures, and engineering leadership. I'm also an advisor to a bunch of Web3 companies, such as Dorado, that talks on crypto and IRA, Nillion, that talks about secure multi-party computation without consensus, and Gummies.io, that is trying to build a YouTube-like interface on Web3. I'm also an adjunct professor for blockchain technology at University of Advancing Technology in Arizona. My experience has been in companies such as Netflix, Box, Apple, Samsung, and Datrium. We look at technology that is around us, which we call the Web2 technology. It is not at all inclusive. There are cases of racially motivated algorithms for all the things that we are buying online or shopping for online and things that we are interacting with online. This is referred to as ethnic affinity in a lot of these social platforms. There is very limited support for diversity of thought, of action, of background. There is almost no support for elderly. Look at the way Facebook and other social media design their logins, for example. Uh, it is very difficult for elderly to actually log into Facebook and not get bogged down by the security implications of it. There are a lot of security loopholes as well that get exploited. And there are a lot of cases of accounts being hacked because of the passwords being too generic. <clears throat> Moreover, there is almost no support for people that are in need. This takes away from the social aspect of social media. These people cannot interact with the world around them because they are restricted and technology is not making it easier for them. When we think about the metaverse or the utopian world that we want to design for the future, we think of a collection of AR, VR technologies, NFTs, gaming, avatars, virtual lands. In short, we want to provide an improved user experience in an interactive world online. This will eventually allow everyone to live in a virtual utopian world. However, we need to also think about ways in which we can solve the problems that Web2 brings up when it comes to social justice. If we have to think about how social care would eventually be designed in the metaverse, there will be profiles that are validated by better means. There will be more control over security, which means that the data will be encrypted at all points in the life cycle. The metaverse itself will be decentralized, so there will not be any central controlling authority in the metaverse. For the elders, you can imagine a metaverse where they will have a social network to bond with others. They can explore activities such as getting their pharmacy, groceries, shopping in this virtual metaverse. They will experience real world phenomena in the virtual world. For patients and for folks under elderly healthcare in general, Metaverse provides a window of opportunity to interact with the world outside. This also allows, for example, traveling to different places, meeting your friends that may, you may not be able to accomplish in the real world. However, to reach there, we have to first solve some of the problems that exist in the Metaverse. It's a good thing that we do not have any central authority of control. But if you look at the real world around us, it is not just banks that are central authorities. It's the social justice system. It's police. It's it's a lot of other agencies that try to keep justice just and fair in the world. So those things would also be missing in the metaverse. So how do we then design a metaverse that is a free, pluralist, equitable, just in nature? <clears throat> how do we prevent issues with racism? How do we prevent issues such as attacks on marginalized communities or attacks on women in the metaverse? There are some existing strategies that have been employed in the metaverse for this. The first one being an age old technique, which is having community managers. 
this is akin to having community elders and they help moderate the groups of people they welcome newbies help them navigate their way around the metaverse and they will enforce the code of conduct <clears throat> however there are a lot of problems with this the number one being they're not very well compensated they are not very well trained they receive a lot of threats themselves and there is a general lack of motivation that community managers have to moderate the community the other one is crowdsourced vigilance what we can do is design the metaverse in a way where we ask the virtual participants to inform of bad behavior they can call out other virtual participants for racism techniques that is used by many gaming platforms and communities actually relying on gaming participants to weed out bad actors from the community however this puts a lot of pressure on the participants themselves and there is no reward for their vigilance it is not therefore a scalable model so if we were to design a scalable model for the future of social justice in the metaverse we can actually leverage staking so what this means is participants in a game or in some virtual world will stake some coins for social justice this will ensure that they are in an environment which would prevent issues of racism or attacks against minorities these tokens will ensure a free and fair community in that way there will be a select group of validators that will weed out the bad actors and as a reward get the tokens in fact the bad actors will lose their entire staked coins and for the future will need to stake even more tokens to rejoin the community their tokens will be distributed amongst the community as well we can design levels of bad actions each one having a different level of punishment in this way validators get rewarded and participants find a socially just community we can also leverage the recent recently discussed ideas around soul bound tokens where we can attach the social justice score kind of like your credit score to every profile this way actions that you perform in different metaverses actually can accrue different scores on your profile and you cannot transfer them out because the spts are bound to your profile so there this way we can ensure that you maintain a global identity and can carry your social justice score across metaverses the general idea is to design the metaverse well along with staking we must realize that many behaviors in gaming are dictated by the design of the games research shows that algorithms are biased and the design of games are biased unbiased designs that are led by inputs from social organizations will actually ensure a fair experience you can actually imagine a metaverse where quests can enable community building collaboration and empathy in people <clears throat> Finally we want to ensure that we map the physical world to the virtual world bad actors in the real world do community service and get an opportunity to publicly correct their behavior we can replicate sim something similar in the metaverse where we allow the bad actors to do some virtual virtual community service or virtual social work this could include community building for social organizations they can issue a public apology in the metaverse for their behavior and they can also be blocked from accessing some metaverses for some fixed amount of time that is based on their behavior this is just a bunch of ideas that you can use and leverage to build a socially just metaverse <clears throat>